Consumerism in America rages on. There are billions of dollars spent every year on research and advertising to entice us to buy the useless cool stuff we don't want or really need. Consumerism in America can be a real problem. This is designed to make us feel inadequate, insecure, and have us believe we need this useless cool stuff to fill the gaps in our lives. This advertising has many doing what I call consumerism in America, more, more and more trance dance. Minimalism has emerged as a counter to the more, more, and more trance dance called consumerism in America. Just think about it. Societies that are not exposed to this type of advertising bombardment don't do the consumerism in America more, more and more trance dance. The natural desires that all humans have to acquire things are directed in more natural ways and not hijacked by well-crafted and highly researched advertising campaigns. It is not all the advertiser's fault. Human beings have a natural desire to acquire things. It's just that the well-researched and well-crafted advertising bombardment has accelerated those desired greatly towards overconsumption for nothing other than pure profit. Because many of us are affected by the illness called consumerism in America we go into debt or have to work harder and many more hours a week just to stay afloat. This takes more and more time away from friends, family, and the things we really would like to be doing. There was a time not too long ago people lived a more simple life. Only one person worked in a family and the family could afford a home, a yearly vacation, and college for the kids. All was simple then. Less was more and people were happier. Consumerism in America. Are they really trying to help us? Those days may be long gone due to lower wages and the rapid growth of consumerism in America. This is a bad mix for us and the companies that advertise to us. They spend billions on research and advertising campaigns and less on employee wages. This, in turn, leaves the consumer with less money to buy their useless products and services. This hurts them and us in ways that are immeasurable. The companies that run the advertising campaigns seem to be doing the more, more, and more trance dance to rob you of your life savings and happiness. They are playing for keeps and they have crafted advertising campaigns to appeal to your basic human desires to acquire things. We need to stop and ask ourselves if these advertisers and companies are on our side? Are they really offering us help? Do we really need that stuff? Don't buy the stuff if you really don't need it. Why clutter your homes, attics, closets, basements, and garages with more must-have useless stuff? Why be burdened with and spend time managing that clutter? You can open the door, look at the clutter of that must-have stuff and close the door again. You still know it is there and one day soon you will have to manage and deal with the mountain of useless stuff and clutter. Yeah. You think you will use some of it one day but that day has not come yet. There are a million things you would love to be doing besides thinking about that stuff in the attic, closets, basement, and garage. Why wear the gang colors? Yes. You may be a gang member and proudly wear gang colors. We proudly wear the logos and phrases of the well-researched and well-funded advertiser. We assign the perceived value that the advertisers choose the product or service to appeal to you. I am always fascinated by my reaction to seeing a dollar bill on the ground as opposed to a candy wrapper. They both are paper but one has a high perceived value. When I see a $100 bill on the ground I experience a physical and emotional reaction as opposed to no reaction to the candy wrapper. Why is that? There are people in the world that have no use for either. They both are just paper, right? The power comes when many buy into the perceived value. I cannot receive goods and services in exchange for candy wrappers. The one piece of paper's perceived value turns into real value when others share it. This is why people wear the gang uniforms of the advertiser. It has value to them. The perceived value can sway the way people think of you and how you feel about yourself. It can say to others I belong to a certain class and I have value. It can signify wealth or success. Wearing the advertiser's gang colors projects their well-researched advertising campaign and many acknowledge that perceived value. Working as a telecommunications engineer I regularly service customers around the world-famous Wall Street area in New York City. You will see an ocean of men and women wearing quality business suites on any given day and there is a perceived value in wearing those gang colors. 
What I always found strange is the fashion conscious rapper's total outfit often costs more than the average business suit but the person may be looked down upon on Wall Street. There are more and more people like Russell Simmons that don't wear the business suit and still garners respect on Wall Street but they are the exception. They made a choice and so can you. Sometimes the perceived value has value but in your world, you have the control. You have control to assign a value to what is really important. Reject consumerism and embrace minimalism. Spend your time and money on what is really important. Fill your life with quality memories with family, friends, service, and not stuff. Minimalist stop doing the more more trance dance. Minimalist has vowed to not purchase blindly and not purchase useless stuff. To know the difference between want and need. Advertising is designed to trigger your wants. Need does not need advertising to trigger it. Over time you can learn to reject the desires triggered by advertising to buy their junk. Over time you can automatically reject the wants triggered by advertising and only respond to the needs of you and your family. Here is how you begin. 1. Being aware of the advertising game is half the battle. Understand the difference between wants and needs. 2. Never impulse buy and buy solely because of the advertisement. Stop, pause, think and postpone before you decide to buy. 3. Postpone. The purchase can wait if it is not an absolute necessity at that time. 4. Take the time to think about the purchase. Is it an absolute need? Can I do without it? Do I own something else that can fulfill that need? 5. Trust your instincts. Over time you will get better at avoiding the junk. Living simple minimalists let go of the desires of wants over time. Before he knows it you are buying less, spending less, needs to work less, and has less stress. The living simple minimalist is now more happy spending time with friends and family living more with less. Cured of consumerism in America. Thank you for stopping by. Click like and bang on that subscribe button. Please visit the description to get even more life-changing information.